the design thinking approach is to be inculcated within education very first very quickly as you all are faculty members we are not you know spending much more time on what is design thinking but very quickly we will through with it like the basic three components are there understand explore and materialize these three things are there first we need to understand any concept whatever topic whatever subject you are teaching you are supposed to first digest that con concept then you are supposed to explore it in a way so that it could be very easily to be imbibed in the mindset of the students and third is materialize many a time it is happening like the application of the concept is not known to us see we do have several medicines in our home but we, if we are not knowing what is its application it is useless likewise a very very high number of concepts we are going to learn in magnitude in our life but we need to identify how to materialize those concepts if you wish to you know compartmentalize this all three things into the six steps the six steps are starting with the empathize define ideate prototype taste and implement we will see one by one but before we we go in detail the de formal definition says that the design thinking ideology asserts that hands on user centric approach to problem solving can lead to innovation see in this world there is none of the lock that has been made without its key likewise every problem is having its solution maybe we are not aware of it or we need to tackle it in a way so that that situation could be leveraged into the opportunity or we may take the opportunity or the problem as it is but in a different way so that we may use it as some different stone on which we must step up this innovation can lead to differentiation and competitive advantage obviously in this competitive era it is happening that in profession of education also there is a competition you need to be differentiated from rest of the faculty members you need to show your contribution your feedback your uh, you know class matters are unique to be delivered for that this is the very important so now first empathize when empathize is very very common term what we have learned earlier too but in a very simple language if we wish to elaborate it so we may tell it as how opposite person is feeling when that feel you are feeling it within you that is empathy let me tell one so, very small story but before that i would like to ask one question like what is the difference between empathy and sympathy is both are same participants if someone wish to answer what is the difference between empathy and sympathy you may also drop your answers in chat box if you can yes please geeta arya you please answer are you, are you able to mute your unmute yourself geeta sorry good afternoon good afternoon Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. So there is difference between uh, sympathy and empathy. Sympathy is when we have some emotion for something like pity, but uh, uh, empathy is different. Empathy is like uh, only the, you know, like uh, only the wearer knows where the shoe pinches. When we when we uh. feel ourselves at the place of someone else we can feel the same pain the but the other is feeling according to research exactly exactly very in line to the, its logic for which that both the terminologies have been evolved uh, yes, in my language if i would like to say like in a in this winter uh that there is a 
uh, you know very thrilling cold in night and we are going with heater in our car and we are passing through some road and we are talking like yes the people who cannot afford it and we are struggling with this cold weather it is nothing but sympathy but empathy is you are feeling within the heater enabled car that yes how that person is feeling outside who is uh, not affording anything but he is or she is literally shivering from this cold you straight forwardly put that sympathy into action you put you make your any shawl sweater or jacket to him and without taking photograph and uploading onto facebook you make your work and leave that person with some sense of relief that is according to me is empathy like you know you may straightforwardly feel the pain yes. of other person so that feeling would be there a small story a 2 3 minute story i would like to say uh sorry to uh have this story but uh, you know i it, it comes in my mind and i i couldn't pretend pretend myself to be controlled like whenever our nation got freedom dr rajendra pradas dr rajendra prasad was first pre, uh, president and he used to, to believe in uh, hinduism and everything he used to take advice from various sons also he could, he was also used to, to call those sons into president house and have the discussion about it many the meet was happening like uh, problems were too much country was developing resources were you know not enough in that situation dr rajendra prasad asked some sent like we could see the road we can see the destiny but we can't walk what's the reason behind that they, they, they had conversation in hindi but this is the translation that yes we can see the road the destiny is very clear pathway is very clear but we can't walk on that what could be the reason for that you know that saint was very lit- laureate person literate person he answered very logical thing he answered in hindi that rajendra babu rasta hai chalne ki kshamta hai manzil dikhai de rahi hai फिर भी हम नहीं चल पाते उसका एक जो प्रमुख कारण है वो होता है कि हमारे अंदर किसी भी किसी भी व्यक्ति के प्रति सिंपति का अभाव ये सिंपति है और एम्पथी है विदाउट कंसर्न लाइक वी कांट गो विदाउट सिंपति वी कांट यू नो We, 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 as a faculty member we may very easily shout on students like you are not paying your attention in the class and everything but why can't we make the content of the quality that they are not allowing themselves to get out of the context what you are discussing i am telling with the authority because i have done it so first empathize first understand what they are feeling once you are going to have reflection in the eyes of the students that they are not getting interest make more interest so that they can get involved within the concept so empathy then you need to define what to do then it is ideate ideation techniques are there we are going to discuss uh, in this and more in detail whenever it is possible we are going to make some solution as it is solving some problem with its feasibility we are checking it once it is approved it is to be considered as prototype then we are again going to test it again we are going to revise it and finally we are going to implement it it is same like your doctor at viva is there and you are going to practice for it likewise so the importance of human centric approach is that you know why i have put on much more focus on empathy and understanding the feeling of others the reason is that it is the heart of entire design thinking design thinking truly works upon very simple concept of understanding the actual need of the human and that's why it is human centric approach at the core of design thinking it's a deep commitment to understanding and empathizing the end user and stakeholder how they will feel you know many a time we will feel like 
who is designing this uh you know furniture who is designing this car and everything those are not designers designers are always going to review and take into consideration the needs of the end user you know when we are also making software we are keeping in center the needs of the user like if this user will going to use this software then how it would be designed so by prioritizing the human experience the design thinking ensures that solutions are not only functional but also meaningful and impactful it should not just solve the problem you know car is just meant for transporting from one place to another place but it is also having the meaningful and impactful things like it should have air condition it should have comfort it should have safety many things likewise this user centric focus fosters the creation of the products services or systems that truly resonate the people they are designed for obviously then it makes it possible the key principles out of those six we may focus upon right now is empathy ideation prototyping and testing so one by one we will see it the key principles of design thinking very first is empathy that thinking involves deeply understanding the perspective emotions and the needs of the end user that we have already discussed ideation that is the creative phase of the design thinking where diverse ideas are generated without judgment many a time it happens like ideas are ideas we need to you know make a shape of that idea in a way so that it could convert into a very effective product or the service let me share some some real time experience of mine like when i was incubation manager one of my student was very enthusiastic this is a scenario of 2013 exactly 10 years ago he had, had developed one a uh, robot that works like sweeping and swiping of the floor at that time eureka fobs was also developing the same concept you know at that time it had happened like idea was very fantastic but its feasibility was not there being incubation manager if i am going to tell him that this won't work you know his heart was literally to be broken up like many of them students are in love with their ideas they are not you know ready to think about any of the thing about their ideas it's like the love for them so he was not ready to listen i i have experienced that so what we did we have not denied to him we understood that what are the core competencies of the student the core competencies of the student was to shrink the printer circuit boards and make it in effective manner so we gradually diverted him to other product and it was very successful it is right now also working and uh, at that time cm and pm had also appreciated that product that is smallest listening aid what he had developed but you know our role like a potter is to shape and sculpt the career of the student many a time we are not empathetically thinking and we are straight forwardly telling you like, you can't do it or something never ever throw such kind of negative emotions or the thoughts to them it's my personal humble request like don't do so because they trust you a lot your words your statements your comments means a lot to them and that 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 may also use for the increasing the courage within them to prototyping it involves a transforming selected ideas into tangible representations through physical models digital simulations or other means it also allows for quick and inexpensive testing of the concepts well if it is at prototype level it is not going to get approved or getting better results then it is not advised to go for further steps but yes it's as a test of the product whether if it is going to pass that fantastic it is testing is a phase where prototypes are evaluated often involving feedback from the users identifying its strengths weakness and proposed solution testing also ensures that the final solution aligns with the user needs and the expectation that we are also going to providing valuable insights for refining and optimizing the designs for full scale improvement 
here we are going to use the approach the human centered design approach for that three basic applications i have identified for academicians faculty members that they may rope into their teaching learning practices in education so very first is empathize people's needs what are the needs of the students how they are not going to you know uh, come up with a better understanding of the concepts and how effectively you may you make them to use it second collaborate with the other across disciplines skill sets and perspective and include every idea in visible form of evaluation many a time we have observed that interdisciplinary approach works in a very better way so you may go for it you may also include other disciplines if you are working in multiple institutes in the, in your campus or if you are going to uh, working in a what you may say like university setup then this handy facilities could be there so use that network finally the third approach facet is repeat iterating and testing solutions to prefer them always with the human needs at center mind well humans are the people who are ultimately going to bite and use it so always we need to put humans in center when we are going to you know design the product design thinking process now this process says that as we see like design challenge and design solution this is a journey from start to end point when we start it is empathize what we say we need to converge it into the frame that frame is having a converge versus diverge and ideating with the prototype testing now i would like to keep this diagram its size to be captured in your mindset i am going to change something in it and you would come to know that okay which part is increasing decreasing and where you are supposed to squeeze this or transform the concepts so design challenge and design solutions are not in straight line always it is having some some complexities within it you have to solve it so simply this is first step second day is design thinking groups are there who are going to empathize frame ideate prototype test either define ideate prototype test that is in standard I, uh, school they have done it in ideo they are having this this is the comparison of the approaches in ideo they are saying gather generate make and share in ideo version 2 they are saying inspiration ideation and implementation very crispy one in Luma Institute, they are saying looking, understanding, and making different contexts. In IBM, they are saying observe, reflect, and make. Okay. Many of our inventions are based on observing the nature. If you have seen some creatures who are who seems like helicopter, but actually helicopter is designed by them. You might have observed the submarine shape. It is same as similar to well, but it is designed from the shape of the well. Likewise, FSU Innovation Hub says that empathize, ideate, and step forward with me. So different approaches prevails as a version of the design thinking. Now, if you wish to make step-by-step -step process, design challenge, stakeholder mapping, context mapping, road mapping, ethnographic research empathy mapping you know empathy is also map like brain mapping techniques are there for empathy and so on exploring persons journey mapping research sense making how might we done so this by that it is framing like how i can solve this problem then after it comes to brainstorming for ideation like what could be the solution of this problem for example uh, in a very simple way, I would like to explain. I was teaching before 
uh, 12, 14 years strategic management. Now, students were literally MBA students were there. They were not too much interested in the session. Obviously, it was after lunch session. And uh, I was teaching them balance scorecard. Now, it's a very tricky concept. Several facets are there. Several features are there. Various components I need to explain. Then only it is to be absorbed uh, as a concept to the student. One funny thing I did, like I used the analogy. That is called ideation. I used the analogy as just imagine that the four facets of this all thing are like nothing but but four you know wings of the fan now that wing of the fan is four i kept one duster on one one fan wing so all three got raised up and one wing was get down i said like similarly in balance scorecard it happens that financial perspective service perspective once any of the perspective is getting affected by external factors, we need to put something on other side so that it could be balanced. Financial perspective too. So likewise, it is brainstorming, thinking level that allows us to make different approaches. Then it comes thinking wrong, brain writing, idea filtering, stakeholders value mapping, low uh, 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 see. Uh, low filtry of the prototyping. Likewise, several options could be used for that purpose. Now, for empathizing, the very simplest thing is you need to segregate your ideas, your problems into four quadrants. Very first, task and goals that you have to do, you have to do. Insights. To be, do this task, which are the insights that comes in your mind to accomplish it with the creativity or new design that you may use. But for that, you may also have something that is pain point. As we said, like the need, need of the people, need of the human being is nothing but pain point. See, participants, any business, any product simply works upon satisfying some pain points. Facebook is working very efficiently, very effectively. Everyone is using it. Why? What they are serving? They are serving our very small niche need. Though it is a toxic need in psychologically, but it is need that what others are doing. So what others are doing their curiosity is satisfied by the medium of technology, by some platform. Now, similarly, restaurants are working because pain point is there. Human body gets hungry after two or three hours. They need the variety of food. Those people, this human being, always, you know, run for the money. but Many a time it happens like you have preference like today I'm not going to clean the kitchen. Today I'm not going to cook at my home. And that's why you go for enjoy the ambience, not the food. That is also one of the things. Food is byproduct in that way. So several pain points could be there. So you may list down the pain points. Yeah. How might we? Now, this how might we is your straightforward contribution as a new thing to be evolved. So once you are going to use this problem space, you may make it and some sticky notes, you may put it. Same way, now you use empathy as problem space, as user journey. Like what user will do. For example, if I'm going to use uh, developing some software design, then what user will store, what data they'll capture, everything I'm going to make the flow. Like where pain points and insights would be solved by what time, how might we. So these all things what we have collected, now we are going 
for its sequencing. Then we are going to define like how might we like come up with the how might we statement address to pain points and address the opportunity that you have identified like cluster the heavy motor vehicles into themes like make AV experience memorable audio visual experience memorable in automobile so how could so that could be one example now ideation on a piece of cardstock sketch eight different ideas to address your HMV statement like one per minute or something this is just one exercise kind of thing if you get to try applying some other constraints so likewise how you are going to make it happen so you are going to fill these all quadrants different ideas in sequence and that will you know it's a kind of um brain writing but in a pictorial form in whatever form it comes in your mind you may do it and same way you may go for brain writing as each person have three minutes to jot down ideas about sources for vehicle heading that currently exist you know, all example you may do i'm not focusing upon an example in online mode it is not possible not effective but yes you will get this ppt so you, you may go for it and you may uh, you know develop it in group ideation that is speed mind mapping for that right here opportunity in the middle of the page three levels within one minute three minutes and add some more detail in three minutes likewise you may go for it it's okay if you don't do all three levels in each branch you may get stuck as brain writing would is it's, it's not easy but many a time ideas get are getting stuck at some point on limitations so it's okay again uh it's a different thing as it is a reverse uh thinking just wait a while it it, it is straightforwardly so it's yeah, yeah it's fine no? many a time it happens like in group discussion you are not going to uh have straightforward answers or uh you know reverse thinking but yes reverse thinking is required like okay now if i'm going to tell you like draw a car so but obviously you will draw a car that you have seen it but from scratch at very first time you you are supposed to draw the car it is having different shape so at least the worst possible way is that you ensure heading integrity examine how you could reverse this bad ideas to create the best possible solutions hey the best product that right now we are sir? using yes sir your uh, presentation is not visible sir okay sorry sorry for that because i have closed it for making something correction that's why sorry and thank you for your prompting no issue sir okay so likewise group ideation is having reverse thinking too how it is that if you have seen a small child they are full of reverse thinking once a new toy is there with them they play with them after enough playing with them they always start to you know use the screws open and have the curiosity how it works so it is nothing but reverse engineering many a time they are doing on assembling it again assembling it and they feel confident like yes now i come to know like how it works so likewise also many things would be there and i request all of you one one you know one side from me you may throw back my this idea back to me but before commenting on any system any product any service just try to understand how much efforts have been invested for it it is very easy to comment upon it is, it is very easy to criticize a person a process or any any damn thing but it is difficult to develop so it is it is my urge like what you can't do if someone is doing don't criticize it at least don't if, if you are not going to praise it at least don't criticize it because once you criticize it you know actually you one don't have and uh, someone has no right to criticize 
in the field for which for minimum 10 years they have performed at par. Then after they do have license to criticize. But without having experience, without having any, uh, you know, specific in detail knowledge about it, to criticize to criticize the person or people or process, it is literally a sin. So reverse thinking. Sorry, sorry for, for deviating somewhere else. Uh, industry swap. Like what is good for industry? Brainstorming new ideas as a group. Like, okay, electricity generation. So what's good? Many times we are satisfying ourselves like we are using EV vehicles. But EV vehicles uh, are made up of electricity. They run on electricity. Electricity is using some other resources uh, for uh, generating it. Uh, unless it is using water or some uh, uh, other resources. Otherwise, they are also polluting at some other place. Yes, compared to spray air pollution, at some specific pollution, if it is polluting, it is somewhat better, but not good. Like good in the sense that, yes, they are using some, some alternative things that may also cause for pollution. So likewise, what the industry swap? Many a time, we, may, we are also going to use many of the product that are actually not meant for that purpose. But in fashion or in swapping, it comes in our routine. For example, wheat. Wheat is not our core food. As it is millet here, millet grains were our core food that, that were giving us energy and healthy too, that keeps us healthy too. But Yes, other meal options may cause some of the diseases, some of the digestion problems and something. Likewise, in industry also it happens, like when we swap, that swapping should not be at the cost of something that changes the habit of the consumers. Or it may harm at large to the society. Group brainstorming could also be there. Like how can we uh, like our exercise like AV experience be customized or something like that? The role of now I'm coming to our core topic, the role of faculty in design thinking, shifting mindset from traditional design, sorry traditional to design thinking. Gradually, whatever subject courses you are taking, you please imbibing at your end at delivery level using design thing the reason is that you are going to get updated upgraded your mindset before you deliver they say see sorry uh, as when we are in dealing of the coal our hands are also going to get black likewise when you are delivering creative things day by day you are also going to get creative Shifting from traditional to design thinking mindset. See, this both the approaches are involving. In second, it is linear perspective. See, in within one hour, it is not possible to cover, but I'm touching upon some very important points. You may lead the example by demonstrating the value of curiosity. You know, curiosity is very important. As I have asked you, like, I, I may also ask you uh, just opening minutes of the session that do you know design thinking or that thing or those things but i do have enough content and we our engagement is only for one hour so within one hour it is not that much necessary but when you are connected with your student and your engagement is too much uh, for one semester or something once you are going to deal with some subject then obviously you need to you know, put seeds of some thoughts in the process of this development. Like you ask some question, you get their perspective, you may permit it, you may revise it, and so on. Cultivating a culture of creativity and innovation. Never ever go for any routine things. Even when you are going to uh, assign some assignments, those are also of creative nature. Individual student will work upon individual topic but yes for that you, we faculty members have to work for it 
I used to do have more than 320 topics for my BBA student because the strength was more than 320. So 320 topic for some specific courses, unique assignments without AI chat GPT. I used to do it by going library and finding it and assigning those topics to them and ask them to search on internet or whatever whenever it is possible to have the information. The topic itself was very creative so that they may also enjoy the work, enjoy the assignment as it is unique for everyone. They are not going to copy it. So in a very macro level thing also, we may keep our creativity to be alive. Fostering faculty collaborations, like encouraging collaborative collaboration among faculty members. Yes, I know I am telling very difficult thing. Collaboration within faculty is truly need based. And many a time it is uh, a part of culture that once you are going to associate with someone, they are knowing from you, they are not co uh, properly collaborating with you, give and take relations are not always going to get balanced and so on. But even after all these constraints, you have to collaborate. At any given point of time, you have to deal to learn and art to deal with difficult people. I repeat, at any given point of time in your life, you have to learn an art of dealing with the difficult people. So why don't to learn it at early stage? So that as many as difficult difficult people you may learn to handle obviously collaboration is the heart of effective design thing it fosters the collaboration among faculty members see very 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 fact thing it is like what flavor of idea you are generating when it merges with the flavor of other person's idea it will create different flavor and it will be definitely creative that ultimately creates the culture of teamwork. Problem solving approaches and collective commitment towards innovation culture is to be developed by this. Faculty collaboration can be facilitated through workshops, team building activities, and interdisciplinary projects, as I said. Even projects has to projects are to be very, you know, creative one. You won't believe whatever i'm going to give assignment to some student they are of the quality that each of them could be converted into good chapter and ultimately it could be developed in one book one tourism topic was there on which we have done it so creating a supportive community of practice building a supportive community of practice is crucial sustainable integration of design thinking education and community practices not for all materialistic things See, many a time, as, as we are dealing with a human-centric approach, human is an animal who, who gets tired by monotheistic. You are working, being a faculty member, you are serving to your institution, you are working for several hours. That, that, that's very good thing and that's very fine. But it's not possible that at one point of time, you may be thinking and in search of some selfless service. That, that selfless service is towards nothing but, you know, getting satisfaction by some reasons that, okay, by this, I'm not going to earn the profit, but it's truly service from my side. This kind of collaborative community services and th doing these selfless things in your day makes you to enable your soul to get rejuvenated and it is very required. Student-centered learning experiences are also very important. Keeping student in center, as we, we, we have discussed, like human is in center and everything, but see each and every student is very important as this student are the future of our nation. Whatever you are going to teach is they are going to practice in your, uh, you know, what we may say, like they are going to get practice in their profession, corporate. 
So never ever bluff with your students. Never ever try to teach the concepts that are not approved by the authorities or in textbooks. So design interactive assignments and projects, as we discussed, it could be there. Fostering a culture of curiosity and experimentation could be there. Many a time we are afraid of experimenting. If we are going in that way, what will happen? Yes, you need to uh, get your authority in confidence and let them informed about those all things uh, as a precautionary things. But try to get experimented. Valid experiences are very useful for developing new learning experiences. This kind of lean canvases, including problem, solution, key matrices, matrix, sorry, key metrics, unique value proposition, unfair advantage. It is sim as similar as business uh, uh, canvas, but it is of different nature. Unfair advantages, channels, customer segments, customer structure, revenue streams. We need to take this all things into consideration while we are developing lean canvas. This creates our design thinking much more refined and crystallized. Now for revolutionizing the education, a design thinking journey, if we wish to conclude, like how could we make it much more effective? Then empathy and understanding, as we discussed, for that faculty engagement sessions should be there. Interview and survey should be incorporated in your teaching learning things. It explores the experiences and the perspectives from the different people to be collected in the journey in that specific area. Third, it is data analysis. Ask them to do data analysis. It is very essential thing to you know make them to learn. Ideation and co-creation. Interdisciplinary collaboration, prototyping workshops should be there. Feedback loops should be closed. Always have feedback. Always also have feedback in your class. Like what was my uh, teaching methodology, uh, pedagogy, any comments on it, what, what you liked, what you disliked. Then you may analyze it and take your decisions. But at least ask for that. Implementation and evaluation like pilot programs, formation, formative assessments, and reflective practices are to be practiced. These pilot programs are practically possible to launch. I have done it. So that's it for me for now. In upcoming five, 10 minutes, we may be going for question answer, or we may also extend it. But I would like to answer your question. Any question from your side? Or I, I, I may also do one thing. This thing, I may go in detail for under, making you for better understanding. But before that, I would like to have questions from your side. See, in design thinking, it is it can't be one, one side flow. Many questions could be there that arised in your mindset when I was telling something about the concept or something. So you may ask the question, you may ask the creative things or something that you may also implement also. So you may ask your question now. Participants? <laughs> 